we came to the conclusion we could not adopt our way out of an overpopulation issue. That wasn't the root of the problem. That was the, the a cause and effect component. And that we were, that we were helping a lot of animals find homes, but we weren't keeping them from coming into our adoption centers. So we've refocused some of our energy, repositioned what we were doing. We started offering low-cost spay neuter or free spay neuter to our communities. And it was pretty clear that people living in poverty, um, city-like environments especially, uh, that's where the homeless animals are coming to us. Our main goal is just to connect people who previously have had no access to veterinary care or pet resources, uh, connect those folks with what we have, which is a lot. So I'm Brittany, and this is Karma, and this is Justice, <laughs> and we live in Dorchester. It was very real for us to understand that we're meeting people, they care about their animals, they want all these things for their animal, they just can't get it. It's a lack of, of knowledge, I guess, from the community and having great people like Alyssa who come around and, and explain what the MSPCA has to offer is great. It's, it's great. What we're learning is they can't get to a veterinarian, they can't afford a veterinarian, and so we're starting to see that we need to address this problem in a different way. So we're doing that through door-to-door -door services as well as passive programs by offering low-cost spay neuter through each of our adoption centers to communities that we believe are in need of more support. When she was born, she got a vaccine. Okay, so she's about six months old. This is Mrs. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. My name is Alyssa. I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for the MSPCA. We are out here today doing free vaccinations for folks in the neighborhood. Um, a lot of these people are people that we've met going door to door. So we meet people every day at their homes, on the street, in the parks, um, and talk to them about their pets and, and try to just be here as a support for them and as a resource for them. Vaccinations can be very expensive and that the MSPCA is doing stuff like this is really big help in the community, like especially with like the neuter and that vaccination and stuff, it's, it means a lot. People really love their pets, you know what I'm saying? So with people could just come out and help the community. It means so much to the people that really care about their pets, but really can't afford to do stuff for their pets, you know? Chiquita's your dog? Mm -hmm. Yep, she's gonna get yeah. her puppy shots. She's gonna get her shots. Do you guys remember getting shots when you go to the doctor? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they hurt a little she bit, might huh? She cry a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, she's yes. gonna get two shots, so when you pet her later today, just be a little cautious, be a little, she might be a little sensitive, okay? Seeing that connection within the community, happen is a real tangible thing. We can see people going from being suspicious of the MSPCA because they've never had any of our services, never interacted with us in any way, and the only way that they have interacted with us is through law enforcement, and finding a way that we can reconnect with those communities in a way that they understand that we care as deeply about their animals as they do, and that we are there to help provide the resources that they may need to have a great relationship with their pet. I know, we're gonna do one more, okay? So that's pretty exciting, and I think it drives us to say, there's so much work to get done uh, in our communities, and that getting outside of our shelter doors and getting out of the day-to-day -day intake and adoption part and interacting with people's, and people and their pets is really powerful, and it really feels like we're meeting our mission that way.